So I have a uh, pretty large anime collection that I'd like to show off. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Um, starting off in the first half of the shelf, it's, uh, we have Ayori Aoshi, which is sort of my love Hina. Wouldn't really recommend it, but it's a nice harem series. Uh, next up is Bakano, which is out of print. Good luck getting it. Aniplex of America took it from Funimation, and yeah, I just had to kind of buy the DVD. Um, another one of those uh, series that was taken back by Aniplex is Birdie the Mighty Decode. Haven't actually finished the series. I have watched the OVAs, though, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, next up is Black Lagoon. Great, great show. It's got violence, guns, girls holding guns, and just it's really badass. Uh, Blood Lad, not that great. Uh, <laughs> Blood the Last Vampire, solid 50-minute movie. Not much else to say, though. Chaika the Coffin Princess. I actually really enjoyed this series. Um, I would like to upgrade to the Blu-ray and get the second season at some point. Uh, Catherine Sins. This was part of the Toonami revival. And I just I, I have a special place in my heart for this show. Next up is uh, Cowboy Bebop, which is just a classic I have the DVDs. I would like to get the Blu-rays at some point, just because I don't know. I have an obsession with Blu-rays, but um, that's just not in the budget at the moment. Next up is uh, Cromartie High School. Hilarious show. Uh, Desert Punk, another hilarious show. Would I would recommend both of those. Um, Dragon Ball seasons one, two, and three. I need four and five to complete the series, but I love Dragon Ball. And uh, you know, the East, one of the more disappointing animes out there. Uh, just it's really unfortunate the way they're they ended it with movies. I watched the first movie, didn't watch the second one, but the first one didn't really give me hope, so just kind of holding off for a bit. Um, Neon Genesis Evangelion or the Evangelion Rebuild movies. I really, I'm a fan of the series. The original kind of left me a little broken, and the movies don't really do much to make you feel better. But it's I'm really excited for the fourth one at least. Flame of Rekka. It's just Yu Yu Hawk show, but with ninjas. Full Metal Panic from Mofu. Really, really funny spin off to uh, the original Full Metal Panic. And then FLCL, which is another classic six episode OVA. And they're making a second and third season, which I'm really, really excited about. Uh, yeah. Alright, I also have uh, Haikyuu Part 1 and Part 2 for Season 1. Kind of regret buying these just because now they're releasing the Blu ray with the dub and a complete collection, which, you know, whatever. I'll pick those up, though. Uh, IGPX, it's sort of like NASCAR meets Mecca, and it's just a really good time. I also think the dub for IGPX, I think it has the guy from, the little kid from The Sixth Sense. So, uh, Iria, solid sci-fi. Kino's Journey, they're remaking it, but I really like the original, so. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to watch the remake, though. Last Exile, really, really cool show. Um... Michiko to Hachin, which I actually got signed by Monica Real. That was really fun. Um, this was has a Latino vibe, so it's I, I'm Latino, which makes me like it more. Um, Mongolian Chop Squad, which I also have signed by Greg Aries. That was really cool. Uh, Nozaki Kun. This was really cool, funny show. Just I wish there was more. I wish there was a second season because the first it's just it's kind of just episodic and not really much character progression. Uh, next up is Morbito. Kind of bought this because it was just... I bought this because it was cheap. That's it. And I think it's made by the same people that did Ghost in the Show, which is cool. Uh, My Bride is a Mermaid. Really, really funny show. My Teen Romantic Comedy or Snafu or Origairu. The main character is absolutely savage. Next is Nabari. i uh, never finished it. Ninja Scroll. It's a classic. Highly recommended. Uh, now and Then. Here and There. Really, really fantastic show. Just, if you haven't watched it, watch it. Oleto Rocket. Really fun, really fun series. Just fireworks with aliens. Um, next up is Paprika, Satoshi Khan, classic movie. Um, Parasite. Well, I'm going to wait for the complete collection, and I also just want to get the Blu-ray. Perfect Blue, another Satoshi Khan film. Just really, really good. Uh, next up is Princess Jellyfish. Just a beautiful shoujo. Fortunately, it doesn't have a true ending. I know the manga ended, but the series never ended, and I doubt it'll ever get a second season. Next up is Sergeant Frog, season one. I love Sergeant Frog. I want to get the second and third season 
Um, really, really upset that they never dubbed more of it. And finally, on this part, we have Shadow Skill. <laughs> this is a bootleg, unfortunately, but I really like Shadow Skill. It was really cool. It's just very dated. All right, here we have uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This is the second half of the series on Blu-ray. Super, really happy that I have that. Also, I have the first half. It's just not here. And just for shows that aren't here, I ha I let I lent uh, Beyond the Boundary to my cousin. I lent the original FMA series on Blu-ray along with the movie to a friend, and I also lent Brotherhood on DVD to another friend. So I have the I also have those shows. They're just not here. I just bought these. This is a Digimon Tree Reunion and Determination. I love Digimon. And next we have Dragon Ball Z Seasons 2, 1, 3, and 4. This is all I have of Dragon Ball Z in terms of the series. I would like to get more at some point. I also want to get Kai and GT and Super just because I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan. Uh, next up we have Soul Eater. Classic Shonen for me. Uh, it's weird saying that just because it's not that old, but it is pretty old. Uh, just... I love it. Tenkon Kinkrite. This is, uh, the original manga was by Tayo, Tayo, ah, I can't pronounce his name, but really, really great series. Or a movie, sorry. Straight Jacket, underrated OVA, really good. Next we have Legend of Korra, book one through four. It's a complete series. Uh, it's not an anime, technically, but whatever. Vampire Hunter D, this is another bootleg. Just got, it was actually included with Wolf's Reign, which is a bootleg really disappointed about that but it was a deal that I couldn't pass up next up is uh, Welcome to NHK really really dark slice of life fantastic though then we have Yu Yu Hakusho seasons 1 through 4 complete series along with the OVA I love Yu Yu Hakusho a lot and Darker Than Black the premium edition which this is another series that was owned by Funimation that uh, Aniplex took back but yeah it's, I love the show, I'm just very disappointed in this release. Alright, so on this part of the shelf we have some more Dragon Ball Z movies. Uh, these are all the movies including the two specials, Trunks and Bardock. Then we have Resurrection F and Battle of Gods. Love Dragon Ball. Would like to, would like to own the complete series at some point, but just gonna you know, do that slowly. Uh, I have Akira. I love this, this release, it's a steel booklet. I haven't opened it, but I have watched Akira. Quite ridiculous how the animation holds up so well, even by today's standards. Um, Angelic Layer, this was a huge surprise. It's almost like Mega Man NT Warriors meets Metabots, and it's just a really, really fun show. A lot of really good action. Uh, Black Lagoon, or uh, excuse me, Black Butler. Uh, not my favorite show. I kind of just bought it because I know Funimation is going to lose the rights to it soon. It was, it was. I mean, it was solid, don't get me wrong. Just second season really ruined it for me. Um... Black Lagoon, Roberto's Blood Trail, Gruesome OVA, Blood, Blood Blockade Battlefront, really, really great show, loved it, just really, really excited for the second season. Um, next up is Boruto, it's Naruto, not much to say, Kanan, solid show, it's not made by UFO Table, but it does have a very similar, like, character design and animation style, uh, Claymore, ends on filler, so it's kind of lame. Good show, but ends on filler. Next up, I have is the this is Death Note. The Omega Collection has like a little manga, I think, in there. It's pretty cool. Uh, Full Metal Panic, the first season, really, really good. Just yeah, it's pretty much just <laughs> it's just really good. Garu, really underrated series, in my opinion. I I feel like everybody should watch Garu. It's really, really good. It's like Power Rangers meets medieval Power Rangers. That's what it is. Ghost in the Shell, this is another Steel Booklet release. Uh, I love Ghost in the Shell. Next is Guilty Crown. Uh, I feel mixed about it, but I did enjoy it. Grave of the Fireflies. I actually don't really like this movie, to be honest with you. I know a lot of people love it, but I, wasn't, I was just like, eh, whatever. Next up is Helsing Ultimate. I have all of Helsing Ultimate. haven't actually finished Helsing Ultimate, but now that I own the entire series, I will at some point. I um, have Hunter x Hunter. Parts one and part, or the first collection and the second collection. Thank God Viz realized how dumb they are. So they're gonna, the third collection is going to have 26 episodes instead of 13. Uh, Jinro, really good movie. Uh, this is oops, this is Kyoso Kyoso Giga. Really, this is actually a really underrated show as well. Made by the same director that did Blood Blockade Battlefront, so that was really cool. 
Next up is Lucky Star. This is sort of a guilty pleasure. I really enjoyed it. I like the the references to other shows. Um, now we have some Lupin. This is uh, the Fujiko Mine story. I really like this show. I need to get more Lupin. And then I have the movie that goes with it. G Jigen's Gravestone. Uh, I'd love to get into, more into Lupin. Alright, now we're into the bottom shelves. This is The World Only God Knows. This is the complete series. I haven't watched season 3 yet, but almost done. I love it. It's really good. Next is Spice and Wolf. I haven't watched the second season yet, but this is another really good one. Oh, these are guilty pleasures. It's Love Live. Uh, Scrap Princess. I believe it's the same person that made Chico the Coffin Princess. Haven't watched it yet, but I'm really excited to get into it. Shakugan no Shana. Haven't finished it. Samurai 7. I was... I watched it on Toonami, never finished it. I was watching it on Netflix, and then Netflix removed it, so... Now I own the series, so I can finally finish it. And then Sekirei, this is seasons 1 and 2. Wouldn't really recommend the series. It's kind of like Pokemon with girls and Echi. It's really, really weird. Um, but again, this is another series by Funimation that they lost to Aniplex. These are some art cards for Noragami. Here we have Marduk Scramble. Never finished the movie. It's got a lot of references to eggs, because I think Marduk is eggs in another language, and then Scrambled. And the girl's name, I think, is even a reference to an egg. Next up is Nadesco. Haven't watched it. Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water. This was actually really, really good. Middle part of the series gets kind of boring, but really, really great, great conclusion. Naruto, the last movie was lame. Number six. This was solid. Not great, but solid. Then we have Noragami, Season 1. And... Season 2, limited edition. I love Noragami. Really unfortunate that I think the mangaka is sick. And, like, who knows when a season 3 is going to come out. Next up is One Punch Man. This is another limited edition. I love One Punch Man. Oops, can't get it in there. Just leave it here. Then we have some One Piece movies. I love One Piece. This is, uh, One Piece Gold. This is Heart of Gold. Uh, Z. Whoops. Yeah, Film Z, and then Strong World. Whoops. Love One Piece. Then we have Origin. Really disappointing movie. It, art is great. The soundtrack is great. The story and characters was really, really, like, lackluster. Um, then we have Panning and Stalking. Just, it's like... I I don't even know what, <laughs> what to say about the series. It's so ridiculous. Um, Ping Pong. Really, really underrated show. I actually have this signed as well. Yep, have it signed. Just a phenomenal show. If you haven't watched it yet, it's one of the best sports anime you'll ever watch. Um, Psycho Pass is the movie. I don't have the first season or second season, but I did. I do enjoy the series quite a bit. Um, Rage of Bahamut Genesis. This is another limited edition. It actually comes with a booklet, which was really cool. Uh, I know the second season's going on. Sucks that Amazon has it, though, just because I'd like to stream legally. Or I try to, at least. Uh, Robotics Notes. This is part one and two. A very mixed. I have very mixed opinions. I like the first half. Second half isn't bad, but I wouldn't have minded if it stayed more like a slice of life. Uh, Space Dandy season two. A, I, I finished season one on Toonami, then I missed a lot of season two, so I just bought it. Steins Gate the complete series, probably my favorite anime of all time. Then we have Sword of the Stranger, fantastic movie. Uh, Steins Gate the movie, kind of pointless, but I don't know. I, I like seeing more Steins Gate, I guess. Uh, Summer Wars, another fantastic movie. This is by Mamoru Hosoda. I'm a fan of his work. And then we have Terror and Resonance. This is another limited edition. Kind of lame, though. It comes with art cards. That's about it. I, I prefer if it would come with some, like, a booklet or something. Something cool, at least. Maybe a poster. But yeah, really, really solid show. Second half's kind of weak, though. Alright, so this is the last part. Um, have Wolf's Rain. Fantastic series. Really disappointed that I bought the bo the bootleg and then I think a month later, Funimation announced that they were releasing it on Blu-ray. Tomical Market. Huge surprise. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. Um, then we have The Boy and the Beast. Kind of not the best movie by Mamoru Hosoda, but I did enjoy it. Then we have Garden of Words. Solid Makoto Shinkai movie. Uh, the Girl Who Leapt Through Time. I love this one. It's really good. Then we have, uh, what is this? The Empire of Corpses. Kind of a disappointment, to be honest with you. 
The Melancholy of Haru Suzumiya. I love the series. I want to get the movie at some point. I just don't have it right now. Ungo. Really weird mystery show. Um, it was it was fun, though. So we have Wolf, Wolf Children. Excuse me. One of the most emotional movies I've ever watched. Then uh, Zammed. This one was... It's like a Rekka 7. Um, riddled with riddles. Because the way the characters talk is just... I don't know, I didn't like it. Then we have, um, oh, this is my Hayao Miyazaki collection. Uh, the Lupin movie, the one Lupin movie that he did. Probably one of the best ones, too. Nausicaa, great movie. Castle in the Sky, another great movie. My Neighbor Totoro. You know, honestly, My Neighbor Totoro is probably my least favorite Miyazaki film. It's not that it's bad, I just, I like the other ones a lot better. Uh, Kiki's Delivery Service, this one's definitely one of my favorites. Just a really good story. Uh, Spirited Away, another really good one. I remember watching that in middle school. Uh, Princess Mononoke, this is my favorite one, definitely. Princess Mononoke. Next we have Howl's Moving Castle, another another one of my top favorites. Uh, the Wind Rises, this one was really good too, just really, really beautiful. And then finally, Porco Rosso. Oh, now that I think about it, I'm missing Ponyo, but I'll get that at some point. Porco Rosso, really, really great. Um, and yeah, that's about it. These are just 3DS games, PS4 games. But yeah, that is my anime collection. So if you watched all the way through, thank you very much. I actually really appreciate that.